Hello and welcome to a, another Doctor's Assistant 1 video. Today I'm doing a, another new news video. Um, yeah, I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> um, it's been a pretty intense week, to say the least. Uh, yesterday I had uh, two little wobbles. Wobbles of sorts, you know, little uh, sort of... Uh, meltdowns of sorts, so, uh, you know, that was fun, not, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, today, well, I had, besides having, like, this meeting thing at college with some people, um, about, like, what I'm doing after college, the rest, or the rest of the day, ideally shouldn't be too stressful or intense, but besides that, Besides the fact that I've got to talk to those people, which hopefully if you guys know me um, personally uh, or, you know, family, friends, so on, watching this, if any of you guys watch this, uh, you will know that that sort of stuff I find challenging to deal with. Um, so yeah, which is ironic considering obviously these staff are supposed to be supposedly trained in autism. <laughs> Oh, autism aware and this and that. Um, but yeah, I read an article. Well, I say an article. I read an article. I read, oh, skim read through it and I looked through some of it. I didn't read all of it, but I read most of it. Uh, and that the title, some of the other stuff here and there. Um, about the fact that this guy, uh, autistic person, got kicked off a bus because he didn't look disabled, which is infuriating to say the least um, and that unfortunately for you guys because I'm behind the camera you can't see this but I'm wearing a cool uh, Splatoon 2 t-shirt that I got um, a few weeks ago now or a week or two ago now I think um, also the Rick and Morty art book there <laughs> I still really want to review that but it's just finding the time to get around to reading it or ever reading it, because to your disbelief, even though it's an art book, there is quite a bit of worded stuff, because in the back it's uh, got a bunch of stuff about the production of the show and this and that. And yes, I am aware of the new news um, of it being renewed for 70 episodes, supposedly, for season 4. Um, and that, which is awesome. Love that. Uh, yeah, and also I'm pretty impressed with how well my uh, thoughts on... Star Wars the Last Jedi, whoop, Last Jedi video did. Um, I did not expect it to go as well as it has done. Yeah, sure, it's only got like five views, but five views more than I anticipated. Um, predominantly because predominantly because that's a very long ass video. Unfortunately, even if I wanted to say edit this video down, and that uh, I don't have oh, any of my figure adventures, any of my videos where I'm in front of the camera, or just any video. Uh, where I make mistakes, which is a lot of them, let's be honest, <laughs> um, I have no way of editing that, because I have no software, none whatsoever, like editing software, not even Movie Maker, because the my computer a while back crashed and just got totally, like, buggered up in a way where um, I couldn't, when it changed it, when we got it fixed, it didn't have Movie Maker, basically, so I don't have that and I don't have anything on it anymore, which is annoying. <laughs> um, over here though, I do have my glorious Nintendo Switch, which I'm considering doing a video on, which is basically just a rip-off of Boogie to 998 I think it, his name is um, the YouTuber Boogie to 998 uh, His video of like doing a year in review of the Switch uh, spoiler alert, I love the goddamn thing. <laughs> I pretty much take it with me everywhere. Um, it pretty much has to go with me everywhere because, I don't know, I just, I get worried if I don't take it with me. <laughs> and that, really. Um, I don't know, I just, I just, I like having it with me, even if I'm not playing on it. I just, it, just ha having that option, you know, um, and that. But, yeah. Yeah, it, it's very sad that article I was reading, um, as is the other one about that, uh, there was one about a woman who got chucked out of the cinema just for laughing hysterically at something, and she also had, 
oh, she had Asperger's syndrome. This other kid who got kicked off the bus was had autism, and that because uh, he didn't look disabled. And again, it's just you know, it's just ironic considering one of the staff at my college said to me a while ago, like, why would any any anyone get annoyed at you, Matthew, if you don't give them eye contact? And it's like, well, because obviously people are stupid. <laughs> Well, some people are anyway. Um, there's the Tom Baker autobiography, which is the book that I'm trying, keyword trying, to read currently. Um, it's a bit more challenging than I anticipated, but it's still, from what I have read, a fun read. And that, and and that, so that's that's great. It would be cool to get Peter Davison's autobiography at some point. So then I have the fourth and fifth Doctor's autobiographies, respectively. Um, but yeah, I mean. Uh, I completed Mario Odyssey, uh, Super Mario Odyssey. I don't know if I've already mentioned this on the channel. That's a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> uh, and that, I know, it sounds really stupid and silly. Like, woo, I completed a game, woohoo. Even though I've only got like 224 of the Power Moons, which really isn't a lot of them, considering there's 999 of them to get in total. Um, I've just remembered as well, um... I might as well mention this, I'm getting a fidget pen <laughs> soon at some point, which is going to be cool because uh, ideally that shouldn't work. <laughs> it's just the Tangle toys that sometimes have been in my videos that I use, which are the things that I'm fidgeting with when I'm doing a video uh, in front of the camera uh, and that uh, they break for me fairly easily um, and that like I go through quite a lot of them. Like, my mum bought a pack of three online off maybe eBay or Amazon for like eight ninety nine for three of them. And, um, basically the orange one's deaded and now I have a red and a green one and then that's it. So, um, out of those three that she got. So she's bought some more for me as well as the fidget pen. So, thank you mum. <laughs> you get a good old thumbs up from me. Um, yeah. Uh, comment below if you would be interested in me doing any more sort of videos like that, my thoughts on Last Jedi. Instead of, say, reviewing them behind, or like, this way, like, just having the disc and then just talking about it, like, how it, like, you know, instead of doing, say, how I reviewed Deadpool, doing that more like how I did my thoughts on Star Wars Last Jedi. I'd be really interested to see if you comment below in the comment section if you'd prefer me talking in front of the camera or behind the camera and having the DVD in front of the camera or which, which would you as an audience member prefer basically, <laughs> uh, if either. Um, also, talking about films and whatnot uh, has just reminded me, uh, hopefully next week, the week off that I have off college, hopefully next week I will be able to finally get around to watching Guardians of the Galaxy two with my mum because uh, she has still not seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 I know it's a travesty um I would say I I prefer Guardians 2 uh, to Guardians 1 I think the villains definitely more developed and the world and the cinematography in the world and just the visual art style like I really do want to get like an art book of uh, Guardians 2 if they have like an art book like which they should like you know a CG art book type thing because some of the worlds in 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 Guardians Two is just phenomenal and I love uh, what's her name Mantis I think the new character is like she's hilariously great and I just love how like sort of Drax and her just take everything so literally which I can relate to <laughs> and that um. Also, on the TV show side of things, I do want to do a my thoughts on Season 3 of Rick and Morty. Um, that just requires me binge-watching all of Rick and Morty in one go, which, as I say, with a week off next week, I could do that then. Um, College-wise, I've just been finding things difficult because... It's, it's, it's difficult because one of the tutors there is very sort of more enthusiastic and teaches us and is very much more like you know engaging teaches us wants us to do as best as we can gives us theory work but even so because he teaches us and because he's passionate about the subject we all respect him enough to want to do the work whereas the other tutor not so much um and that and also the fact that um you know the uh 
and also the fact that, like, but then it's confusing though because then you go to, even though the other tutor is enthusiastic and passionate about the subject, he does a lot of the practical stuff, so, and it's quite challenging to do that for me because it's like going from theory to practical, and uh, maybe it's just the way my brain's wired, but I'd rather do like a month or two just practical with one tutor, with like the tutor that's really passionate about that stuff, and then just do all of the theory stuff with like the other tutor. Well, I say that, but then again, the other tutor, as I just said, doesn't do anything in the lessons, like literally leaves the lessons half the time, he's never even in the, in the lesson, if he is, he's, you know, not teaching us, as I just said, but yeah. Um, I posted this on Facebook on my own personal Facebook a, a, a minute ago, but oh, a while ago. But um, there are two new games on Switch that I do want to get, which are uh, coming out next month, I think they are. Uh, which is a physical release of Minecraft. I know, right? Minecraft. It's a great game. No, I just I don't know. I just like to play it portably, really, because I've never played the Pocket Edition or the Vita version of it or had it on Wii U or anything. I, the only game console I've had Minecraft on is the Xbox 360 version. That's the only version I've played. Well, that and, like, one uh, on, like, college, at college one time with a few people on, like, the PCs there. Um, that's it, really. So, PC and Xbox 360, really. Um, but, yeah. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the other game I wanted to get... I want to get ideally next month for Switch is um, the Crash Bandicoot Insane uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy. Also, uh, yeah, because that just looks cool, and also the fact that it's like three games in one. Ideally, it's going to be the same price as just one game on Switch, but you're going to get three, which is going to be cool. As even though it'll sound like I'm a mad lunatic if I play it portably and in handheld mode on a bus, just there yelling fucking dickhead, oh cunt. Dickhead, 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 or whatever, you know, shitballs, dickhead, cunt, <laughs> whatever, because I keep dying on that one level, because it's a very difficult uh, platformer, so, but, but yeah, um, yeah, what else, um, also mentioning, uh, Crash Bandicoot has just reminded me to put something in a piece of work, which is great. Because I'm, I'm needing to talk about hitboxes, and I distinctly remember hitboxes being a thing in Crash Bandicoot that a lot of people complained about. But that's mainly because, fun fact for you, uh, they didn't have the... When they were making Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, I think either one or two, or maybe... Not one, definitely, but I'm not sure about two and three, but... With one, they didn't have any of the code. They couldn't find any of the original code for the game, so they had to build, rebuild it from the ground up. So the hitboxes are different to the original one. So people were like, "Oh, but that means that it's even more challenging," or, or, or whatever. Or some were saying it's too, e or a little bit easier now, or it's a bit more difficult even uh, than it originally was in certain sections because of the hitboxes, but and where they've been placed, but. So I can talk about that in a piece of work now. I've just remembered that, but yeah, which is cool. But yeah, um, yeah, I just, I don't know, this course has been very wishy-washy, <laughs> to say the least, like, for every, every good uh, thing there is what feels like three or four bad things, but then for every bad thing there's a handful of little things that I enjoy from time to time. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, I guess.